Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for tuning in as always. And today I'm bringing you day nine schedule and my predictions from the World's Dance Championship from the Alley Pally. Um, this session is on Friday, December the 22nd. The afternoon session starts at 12.30 and the evening session starts at 7 p.m. Each session's in these in round two have three in and are now the best of seven sets as opposed to best of five like in the first round. I'm sure that you guys will agree. Round one has caused so many upsets and and, and different like scenarios that we didn't suspect. We've obviously had the, the Justin Pipe incident as well. We've had Paul Lim go through what we didn't expect. We had Kevin Munch that put Lewis out, but you know, did something unreal on that night. Probably never played to that um, standard again. So it'll be interesting to see how round two go with some of these players that have got through that we didn't expect to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly run through the afternoon session and the evening session, go for my predictions, and also have a little bit you know, look at the stats from the, the first rounds as well to see what I think. So the opening session um, of this one is at 12.30 and it's between Gerwin Price and Ian Wright. Now just looking here, Gerwin Price beat Ted Everts in the first round 3-0. His free dart average was 101.55 with a 36% checkout. Ian Wright beat Cody Harris 3-1. He had a free dart average of 96.89 and a checkout of 55. 5-6%, so a really good checkout percentage there, but slightly lower on the free dart average. This was a really difficult one for me to choose, but I do think that Gerwin Price at the moment looks more dangerous, and in a really tight match, I think that he's just going to come through this one for free. We then go on to Vincent van der Voort against Steve Beaton. Now, Vincent van der Voort in the first round had an amazing 3-0 win against Chizzy Chisnell with a free dart average of 98.9 and a checkout percent of 56.25, whereas Steve Beaton beat William O'Connor 3-1 with a free dart average of 93.28 and a checkout of 39.13. I think Beaton's going to have to improve on both of them, especially the way that Vincent van der Voort played. However, it's great to see Vincent back. For some reason, I don't know why, I think it's Steve Beaton, even with them stats I've just given you in the first round, is going to come through this one for free. We then go into the final match of the afternoon, uh, the one that I can't wait. I think it's one of the um, best second round ties, and that's between Jan Decker and Dimitri Vandenberg. Uh, Jan Decker in round one, he had an awesome win against the Cobra Class in 3-1. He had a free dart average of 95.74 and a checkout, amazing checkout percentage of 64.29. Whereas Dimitri hit one of, the, I think, the third highest average or fourth highest average of the first round. He beat Bunton 3-1. He had a free dart average of 104.17, but his checkout percentage was only 37.04, but it didn't matter hitting that sort of... Um, you know, free dart average because he was giving himself lots of opportunities. This was a really, really difficult one for me to go for as well. I think that Jan Decker's playing really well, um, especially over the last few months. But I think Dimitri at the moment is full of confidence and is going to win this one for free. So there are my afternoon um, sessions and results. As you can see, all four frees. I think it's going to be a very, very um, close games. And my standout match is definitely De Decker against uh, Dimitri Vandenberg. We then go on to the evening session, which starts at 7pm. Looking forward to this one as well. As you can see, the opening game of the evening is Mencia Sulevich against Robert Thornton. Let's have a look. Now, Mencia Sulevich in the first round didn't have to play that great. He beat Kevin Payne at 3-0 with a free dart average of 93.03 and a checkout percentage of 37.5. Robert Thornton, he beat Brendan Dolan 3-1 with a free dart average of 98.67 and a checkout percentage of 60%. Now, as you can see, I have gone for Mencia to Sully Rich to um, win this regardless of what the averages and the free darts were um, and the checkout percentage in the first round because I don't think that Mintz ever needed to push it anymore because Painter weren't at his best and it was quite an easy match for him. So for that reason and that reason only um, Sully Rich is a quality player is, is world number 5 or 6 and I'm going for him to beat Thornton for 2. We then go on to Gary Anderson against Paul Lim. Paul Lim! How good is it to see Paul Lim? You know, back... You know, well, not, I'm not back because he's been in it, but playing to this standard. Probably a standard he's never played before in the world. So let's just have a quick look. Gary Anderson beat Jeff Smith 3 nearly had a free dart average of 100.93 and a checkout percentage of 33.33. While Paul Lynn beat Webby Webster in an amazing match, 3 2, free dart average of 95.98 and a checkout percentage of 46.43. I can't wait for this one. Always like to see Paul Lim on the stage. However, Gary Anderson is an animal on the stage. He loves this tournament. This is the one he gets. Get ups for 
And he really want to win more than anything. And I think that he'll put Paul into the side quite easily with a straight set of 4 nil. We then go into the final game of the evening. As you can see, it's Michael Van Gerwen against James Wilson. Um, let's just have a look at the stats on this one. Michael Van Gerwen was impressive in his first round, hitting the highest free dart average of round one with a 106.17 um, and a checkout percentage of 68.75, beating Kiss 3-1. The, the, the checkout and average is insane. That's uh, what we come to expect for him. Can anybody live with him? I'm not sure. Um, but he's now got James Wilson. James Wilson beat um, Christoph... Uh, I'm trying to... The surname word, I'm not even going to say it uh, because I get in the muddle with it. But anyway, his free dart average was 97.94 and his checkout percentage was 47.62. We all know that James Wilson is probably the most or one of the biggest 180 hitters there is. He does lose matches that I always think he should win. I was glad to see him beat Reject. reject skip, da, 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 there you go. I did have an attempt at it, guys. I did have an attempt at it. But that's as far as you go in my eyes. Van Gerwen's going to be on fire today. He wants to show that he's the, the governor which he always do, he'll put in oppressive performance, and I don't think he'll give James Wilson a sniff, and he'll win this one for nil. So there you can see, guys, dead are my predictions for them games, and as always, you know, get involved, tell me what your standout games are for today, please leave your comments below, I will get back to you. Um, for those of you on the video yesterday that I did, thank you very much. Um, for all your comments and different things. It's just about the Premier League with Wade, Lewis and um, Chisnell. I've not had a chance to get back to you yet because I've been absolutely manic with Christmas, but I will do. I'm looking forward to these sessions um, this afternoon and this evening. Um, and just get involved. That's what it's all about. It's all fun and just get involved. Leave your comments um, and we'll have some banter going backwards and forwards. Don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. If you like my videos, please leave a big, um, big like and don't forget to subscribe. As always guys, I'll catch you in the next video um, and I hope you enjoy the sessions. Bye!